guys, it's Jules. Time for another stitch with me, and we are doing the city from Greenwich Village today. Um, a blended cross stitch project from Scarlet Quince, and uh, we're gonna show a little bit more. Last week, I think we showed a bit more of the blended projects from Scarlet Quince um, on uh, what was it, Tower of Babel? Yeah, Tower of Babel is what we did. I showed you the um, the floss chart that details. All the different colors, um, you know, that you mix basically together. Um, the stitch count for this project is 472 by 363, so it's a wide project, somewhat. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've got uh, all different kinds of things to work on here. That this is the book that they send, and uh, I'm not going to show you too much of that. We're going to pull out the page that we're working on. We're gonna pull this down how huh? and I I re I started regritting it and because uh, I had to wash it and when I re I washed it I had to regrit it a bit and I'm not a hundred percent sure as far as where roughly about I am. Yeah there there I have I've been doing this in red but I have the green with me today. Hold on just a second. Alrighty, so just had to close a window and forgot to turn on the humidifier for the, I like to humidify while I'm in here for the uh, gecko, although it's just humidification inside of his, uh, his little thing there. So I'll have to do a video sometime showing his whole setup. He's doing good though, Carter's a good boy. So but anyway, I was thinking, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do one more vertical thing here. And just make sure that I'm doing this right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if I did that right. We're gonna mark it and then go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we got it. We're good. So, like I talked about in my video last week, these are friction mm, erasable pens, I guess you could call them. Um, they come in 10 different colors. I love them. Uh, comes off with warmer water, warm to hot water, um, and uh, comes off very, very easily, very quickly. Really no need to soak. You could just hose it down in a sense. But, all right, I got to pull out my, my floss. Got to make some room here. Uh, let me see what I'm doing first. Uh, let's see here. What would be the best thing to start with? Hmm. I think this one would, if I have both pieces. These two colors. Oh, we'll just be working on this and talking about this while we were working on this. Oh, just got off of work, got home. Husband finished up with all the bee stuff today. Got home. It's doing pretty good. I guess the bees are literally humming right along so that's good news good news for everybody so I am tired it was a long morning and I got big plans this weekend let me see here Hold on. I think I'll just go ahead and tell you guys because everybody else will find out when I get back or maybe I'll post something on the blog at some point. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, tomorrow, I'm flying out to St. Louis for a couple of days. And I'm going to attend Game 4 of the Stanley Cup, <laughs> Stanley Cup Playoff Final. The Stanley Finals. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It is... Uh, it never really was anything that was ever like on a bucket list, but it is, it has always been something that I've wanted to do. Um, I wanted to go over there to see the Blues play, and I just can't, I can't not go when they're in the, the cup final. So I'm going to go ahead and, Bailey is being very loud downstairs. Let me fill this in here. She has been very loud in the last ah few weeks. Whoopsies. Hmm. 
don't know why. But she just won't be quiet. She's barking at us. Like, do something. I'm like, well, what do you want us to do? Because you, like, I don't know what she wants. She's like, it's not to go outside. Because you open the door, she doesn't go outside. It's not to get petted. What is my problem? My goodness. Pull, the uh, thread pulled right out. Oh, uh, Nino. And it's not to be fed. It's way too early for that. But she has been just acting very... Oh, this is ridiculous. Why can I not do this right? All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta be quiet for a second while I, while I actually get this done. There we go. Okay, good. Phew. I don't know why that was, that was suddenly very difficult to do. Oh, kids, 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 kids. So yeah, so going to St. Louis. Uh, my uh, good friend of mine who taught me most of what I know about hockey is uh, a Bruins fan. And he wanted to go because it's he, last time the Bruins were in the finals, he did dr uh, drive. He flew into Chicago and went to a game in Chicago and really enjoyed it. Said it was just this tremendous experience. And so... He's going to do it again with St. Louis, so I'm like, well, shoot, man. I might as well go with you. So we're, uh, that's what we're doing. So my husband will stay home with the dogs because he has to work on Monday, and the game is Monday night. I will be back very early Tuesday morning because I, I have to work, too. But I took Monday off so I could do this, and I'm super excited. Um, just super, super excited about this. Oh, but I gotta get some extra sleep before I go. Well, I know my, uh, I just don't want to get sick on my trip. Don't want to get sick. So we will have to see, but it should be fun. Should be a blast. Can't, you know, never been to a playoff game, so this will be my first playoff game. But that's, that's what we're doing. I can't, I, I don't know, I'm, part of me is excited and part of me is just like nervous. And But it's coming up now, there's nothing really, you know, 24 hours from now I'll be landing in St. Louis, so it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna wear my jersey everywhere. Look at maybe trying to get a new one while I'm there, since I'll be there. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, goodness. Hope it's not too bad. My back's been bothering me lately. I uh, think it's just related to my legs. I've been doing more on the spinning bike that we have, doing a bit more here and there, and I think they're just, I think it's just tight and it's just pulling on my back. I think that's my problem. I hope it's, that's all it is. I didn't get a chance to hop into the chiropractor this week, so I'll do that when I get back. So I can feel more like myself. That and that and that. Oh, I'm gonna come down here. Do 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 glory. So you know I'm going to be singing that song, that song they sing in St. Louis for the, it's been stuck in my head now for the last couple of days. They're, game three is tonight. I'm super excited. I am tired, so I do need to get rest. Restuses. 
finally has gotten to be a nice weather day. It's I think it's 80 maybe today. First day, maybe only second day this year of 80 degree weather. It's really weird to have like a warm day. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. stuck in my head, stuck in my head. Let's see, what else have I, where's, I've been working on some rainy water we place, and then I was working on just gritting this one, getting this one back up and running for this week. I think I'll take with me, the easiest project to take with me will be Ronnie Rowe. I don't know if I'll get any stitching done on it at all, but I think I might take that with me on my trip, just so that I, if I do have the inclination and the time, I do have something to do with that, I think. I think. Ta-da! Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Bless my husband. I had to take some allergy medicine earlier because it got really allergy-like around here. It got allergy-like. And that's always difficult. I'm trying to figure out which which ones I can stitch next. <laughs> nope, not that one. Not that one. This one? Let's look. Not that one. This one? A little bit. If I haven't already done it. I'm better off looking at this. I, you'd think I'd be more prepared, but if you knew me better, you'd know I, there's just no way. No way I can be better prepared. Well, there is lots of ways. I could be better prepared. I could be prepared. Prepared. I think I might do this one. I just gotta make sure that I have stuff that I can stitch with them. No, nah, it's not going to be very much. Hmm. Well, shoot the moon, kids. Shoot the moon. I need to get more floss here. Hmm. Huh. Hold on. I'm going to pause. All right. So I went downstairs and found some more floss because I really kind of worked myself in a position where I didn't have... I need floss to go to next, so I'm going to go back and do some of this darker color because I got more of that. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so let's go way up here. And we got that done and that done. And that, I better highlight everything that I haven't highlighted yet because I'm missing out here. I end up restitching things I've already stitched. That would just be silly. Silly, 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 silly. Silly, 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 silly. Whew. But I could do with a pick-me-up of some kind. I think I'm going to do with a take-me-down and do a... A nappy. I think, I, I think it's required before tonight's game. Rejuvenate. Rejuvenate the body. Something in my way here. Can I move this cord? Other side. So these blended projects are they don't take longer this stitch they just they're just more what's the word there's more prep time involved and so just that's where it gets kind of I don't want to say tedious but it does kind of get tedious at times oops there we go shoo
<laughs> Let's see. Right now the Tower of Babel isn't really tedious because literally it's not using very many colors off the bat. So that's the nice part about it. But I'm hoping that in this next week or two that it's this thing is finally going to start looking like something. And it'll be a little more obvious what's going on. off and save a little floss go all the way down to this next thing I use really short pieces of floss I don't know why it's just how I cut them whenever I was first working on them so it's like oh man I kind of cut myself short oh, stretch my neck stretch my neck stretch my neck Way down here. Way down. One, two, three, four. Wait. Oh, here. Okay. I thought I was going down another thing. One, two, three. There's that. Perfect. Do this one. This might be a quieter stitch with me. Because how tired I am. <laughs> I could have done my nap first, but I didn't want to run out of time before the game. Not that I think I will. But I don't know how long my nap needs to be. I don't set an alarm if I can help it with naps, unless it's like a quick 15 minute cat nap during a lunch during the week while I'm working. I let my my body, my brain usually tells me how long I need to nap, and I listen to it, and I say, okay. And sometimes, I mean, I, I would say that this is a solid two-hour nap that is ahead of me, if not three. Which, when it gets to three hours, is it really a nap? Or is it more like a, that's how much some people, that's how much they normally get. Yeah, it's actually, it's, it, the sky is fairly blue, and uh, unless somebody's really doing a bad job watering, and I'm somehow getting hit with water on the window on the second floor of the house, uh, yeah, I say it's raining, which is funny. That's nice, it'll just cool everything off a little bit. Put it back down in the 70s. Yeah, back down in the 70s. Come way over here. Come way. 
way over here. So if anybody goes and sees Godzilla, let us know how it is. My husband and I were contemplating going, and then it got a really bad, well, not really bad, but a kind of a bad Rotten Tomato score. And so now we're like, ah, oh, we're going to wait a little bit. Plus, I didn't really want to run out and go to a movie and cram everything into today, knowing that I would be doing a lot tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm going to fly in, go to the hotel, stay in downtown, and yeah, where am I? Where am I? And so, and then, I'm not sure what time my buddy gets in, so I might grab some lunch someplace, find a cool place to have lunch. Or not. See how I feel. See how I feel. See how I feel. But. And then. want to go to the. want to go to the merchandise store tomorrow. At the stadium. Let's see what that's like. I want to do that before the game on Monday. Because I don't want to bring anything besides myself to the game. I don't want to have an extra bag to take care of. I don't want to have to worry about any of that. I'm just going to... Let me highlight. I'm just going to do my thing and relax and enjoy myself and take some pictures and take some video. I think that's all I need to do. I'll also take something like it is well with me. I can work on that too, like it either on the airplane or I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Again, the outline of the water tower in this picture, which I like. I like the water tower. I'm glad it. I'm glad there's something to stitch. Like it's not. I mean, I like Tower of Babel making progress, and it's definitely, you know, but it's all sky. It's coming together, but it's all sky. And with um. This one, it's gonna, I mean, pretty quickly it's gonna actually show some structure to it. Oh yeah, it is like actually, now it's like a bit of a rainstorm. I love it. Maybe we're gonna finally have one of those summers in Colorado where every afternoon where it's warm we get a little bit of, we get a little bit of rain. It's to cool things off for the evening. That would be cool. I mean, literally and figuratively. So happy the Blues bounced back and played well the other night. I mean, they played well in the first game, too. There really was just a couple of minor differences that caused them to lose that game. Um, but, I was so nervous. The last game. I'm going to be nervous tonight. The hardest game to watch is going to be the one that I actually go to because I'm going to be all like, oh my god, I can't stand to watch it. But it probably all gets swept along with the crowd and it'll be a blast. Definitely want to do some video while I'm there. Mm-hmm. Right. Over 
here. Anybody seen Aladdin? How does it compare to the um, animated one? I've heard it's pretty good. I've heard it's faithful, but it, it, it runs its own in its own way. Aladdin was such a just Robin Williams, just amazing, totally amazing. Wind's picking up a little bit. It's noise. It's noise outside. Though I hear somebody sounds like they're using a trimmer or something. Back in the down the street or something. I'm gonna lose my voice at this game. I am absolutely gonna lose my voice. I think. We'll see. Maybe even before the game. Who knows? We'll be going to all the pregame festivities. Whenever they start doing their stuff, we'll be there before that. It's gonna be awesome. Watch pregame skate. going to be absolutely amazing. I actually watched part of the basketball game the other night, the finals. But I struggle. I so struggle with watching basketball, especially pro basketball. I just, I don't know what it is about it that I just, I loved it so much when I was a kid basketball in general and you know even the stuff I was watching tonight is I mean it's great quality basketball I mean you got the two best teams and my brother is a huge fan so I was primarily watching it so that um, I could discuss things intelligently with him and not be like oh I don't know what's going on and uh, so but I can only make it to about half time then I'm like yeah I just don't watch any more of this. I'm going to cut all the rest of these kind of short too. Just because I've already cut part of them short. Pop, pop of them. I'm over here trying to undo my, my floss, my crazy floss stuff. If we live closer to downtown, we'd probably go to more Rockies games, baseball games. I kind of, I'll enjoy them. You know, very, it, when I'm there, I don't enjoy them on TV so much. It's, it's I lose attention so fast. I, could, I can listen to them, too, if I have nothing else to listen to. And I'm forced to listen to baseball. I will. I remember when I was a little kid, and my grandfather used to listen to um, baseball. I got a highlight. Baseball games. He'd always listen to the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, because where we lived, or where they lived, the Cardinals broadcast was the strongest of all the ones, so like you'd think Cubs or White Sox, but theirs weren't very strong in, very, in southern Indiana. It was a lot closer to St. Louis, so you thought you would think I would have grown up a St. Louis fan, but I uh, watched a lot of baseball when I was a kid, though. Oh, stretch. Wee, stretch. I need some caffeine. I did not have caffeine when I woke up today. That's part of my problem. I was out of the caf I had no caffeine in the house. At least the kind that I would drink. Not a coffee drinker.
Wish I was a coffee drinker. That's a... Someday I think I'll get there, but for now, I just I don't, I just don't like the taste. And I don't want to throw a bunch of sweetener in there. And just kind of negate the... At least for me, I feel like I would negate the problem with... Um, or not the problem, but negate the benefits of coffee. Caffeine without the sugar. So... Oh, so <laughs> one of the things that has been fun this week is, for whatever reason, my husband's been watching a lot of old friends clips on YouTube um, that have popped up on his stuff. And uh, it's funny because I swear I have like most of that whole entire series memorized. And so it's kind of funny. He'll get on it. He'll start a clip and then I'll start saying the lines a second before the other end. It might be annoying, but he hasn't said anything yet. But it's so funny. Hmm. I was always a Friends fan. Um, well, I shouldn't say always a Friends fan. I watched some, and then it was right when I was going into school, and I just didn't have time to watch it. I did catch up on it later. I watched the final season, I think, live or whatnot, and so but it was all good. But I wasn't really a Seinfeld fan. I was more of a Friends fan. Ooh. Hail? Yeah, hail. Now it's hailing. Interesting. Didn't think we were going to get any precipitation today, but it's welcome. It's always welcome. Oh, yeah. Picking up. This is awesome. Quick, go take a nap. Because it just, it's just awesome to sleep with the nappy sounds. The nappage. pieces of hail, but... It's okay, bird birds. I covered the birds. I didn't want to compete with the birds talking today because I knew I was going to be talking pretty quiet and did not want to compete with the boys. They cray cray. Chirp chirp. see it coming in there. Kind of see, got that whole edge, 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 edge done. Edge, 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 edge. Gotta go back up here and highlight something I missed. There we go. Whoa. If you guys haven't fallen asleep by now, kudos to you, because I feel like falling asleep. This is very peaceful. Oop. 
Miss this one over here. Miss that one. Now it's quiet again. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh, did you guys hear, have you guys ever watched Avatar The Last Airbender, the TV animated series? Um, it, I, and if you've seen the movie and you're like, well the movie was terrible. Yes, the movie was terrible. I actually never watched it. I just heard, I heard bits and pieces about it, what it was like, and I'm like, I will not watch it because I will not sully my thoughts of the last Airbender. So it was on. It was a Nickelodeon show, and I would say it was kind of like a young adult, you know, animation series. My husband calls it the greatest animation series he has ever watched. I would agree. Um, or you could call it anime too, I suppose. Um, it is some of the best storytelling, character development, music. I mean, you name it. It is just. It is truly. A work of art and they just they did such a bad job when they got around to doing the movie for it so not very not very good so they are going I, I want to say they're doing hold on, I think they're doing um, live action series or I'm not sure if they're coming back and doing actual more animated seasons I don't really know precisely because I've kind of heard it both ways and it's gonna be on Netflix Netflix has ordered it and super excited we are like really excited because the original people who did the original series are coming back for this one and it's gonna be fantastic but I Love it. Absolutely love it. But I would highly recommend it for if you at all like more, you know, if you like animated at all, but if you like good storytelling, um, there is a lot of martial arts. The, the interesting thing is that the premise of it is that there are these people who have skills, kind of like Jedi in a sense, but there are four distinct different kinds of powers. And it's the power to manipulate air, um, the power to manipulate the earth, and then water, and then fire. And when you're manipulating fire, you can actually, like the advanced folks can actually um, create fire, like from themselves. But the way that they utilize, the way that they use their bodies to like control those different things mimics a type of martial art that actually exists and I could I, I used to know all of that back when it was on the air and whatnot I don't know I don't remember it now but um, but it's really cool and um, each culture has its like specific um, Thing that it's known for and it, it's just and they all live like in this one world on different areas of the map now the avatar is there's only one avatar at any time and it's sort of like again like the chosen one in a sense and it's the person who can embody the ability to control all four levels um, or all four types of bending and in doing so they can't they can cancel out any other bender because like Earth can negate, earth and water can negate, I don't know, you, you can think, you can imagine, like, fire can destroy, um, it can push away air, um, it can push away earth sometimes, um, I don't know, you know, you guys know what I'm saying, it's like, it, it's, it's, um, they all kind of can kind of combat against each other, but it's so interesting, and, um, 
they they filmed a sequel to it, which was called Cora. I don't remember the I don't remember the full name of the show. I only watched like a season of it. I didn't care for it as much. Um, I should have finished it, but I didn't. And I may still go back at some point and finish it. But I really loved that with the original Avatar. So that's a one of my recommendations. Oh my, uh, uh, no, that, I gotta keep that, that's a family, it's not a family secret, it's a distant family, it's close friends that are family, they had, a, they had a happy event happen, and I gotta keep my mouth shut for now, because I, I know some of you guys out there watching know me, and, uh, I don't want to let slip some news that is good news, but still not my news to share at this point. Ah, sweet, sweet Diet Dr. Pepper. I know, I know. Those of you who are going to be like, oh, no, it's bad. I know diet's bad. I am trying. I'm working on getting myself less addicted to it. But it's hard, man. It's hard. Okay. Let's see here. Chirp, 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 chirp. We've been watching some, also I'm watching some videos this last week of people who go crabbing on the Oregon coast. Not really watching Washington coast, but Oregon, and I'm like, that looks like fun. Although I'd have to get in a boat. I'm not a big boat person. Or I'm not a little boat person either. But it, uh, it looks like fun. Go fishing. We might do it. We might do a little vacation sometime out in some little place. together fairly well. I like it. Gotta be singing that song for quite a while, I think. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, I'm so sick of that song. Coming along, folks, this is coming along. Oh, now it's gotten kind of overcast. So it's like it rained and then the and then the clouds appeared, which is kind of nice. This is like great napping weather. I really prefer slightly cooler temperatures and more moisture, more rain than we normally get here. So we've talked about 
someday going places or moving to a place where it's just, you know, further northwest somewhere where it's more. I have to have great internet. I mean, there's just no if fans or buts about it. You have to have great internet. And then after that, gotta have. I don't know. It's gotta have stuff stuff to do. It doesn't have to be great stuff, but. Hubby's gonna want to work. He won't be able to not work. He has to stay busy. Ooh, there's some thunder. Yay! I might actually, conversely, the opposite of what you would think. It starts raining, gets like this, and I'm like, I start getting more energy, and I'm like, ooh, I want to. Want to stay awake. Oh, you're so cute when you guys do that. Those little noises. So I'm definitely going to work on this project more after, even after this stitch with me is done today. I gotta, I gotta do some more stuff. Gotta get some more stuff stitched. Oh, we were watching uh, the first Thor the other day, and just looking at it, and I was like, why does Chris Hemsworth look so blah? Now, that may be your version of Chris Hemsworth that you like the most, but they dyed his eyebrows like yellow. Um, it did not look good. He just looks, you know, I can understand why they did it, because, you know, Norse God's supposed to be totally blonde, blah, blah, blah. But... Letting him kind of be who he really is, he just looks so much better now. Of course, he just looks better. He's older, more mature. More mature. stretch. I got I got my little inverter, not my little inverter, got my inverter out this morning and hung upside down to help my back. And it did help. Definitely stretched out some spots. I think a good hot shower will also help. Thunder. Thor, the god of thunder. And then we watched which, which, which other movie didn't been watching. I think he watched Ant-Man and the Wasp the other day. I caught the end of it. And then it was the original Iron Man, maybe? I know that came up. I think he's kind of watching. I, I think there's a TV marathon going on or has been going on for a little bit. I think he's been following along with that a little bit. They're playing all the Marvel movies lately. Really looking forward to when Infinity War comes out on video. 
or not video, but you know what I'm talking about. Digital. Digital, 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 digital. So all graduations are done. Everybody's graduated that are graduating. Sure seems like it. Different times of the year. We had fun at our graduation parties last week. They were good. They were a lot of fun. But it's just weird, these kids growing up, isn't it? It's just weird when it happens. Like, you're always little kids, and now look at you. You're actual people. That's crazy. That's super duper crazy. Pop. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. Oh. I think I'm going to stop the stitching part of my little thing right here my little thing and let's look let me pull out I've got actually I have a Tower of Babel here so let's just compare let me take a, yeah let me just take it out of here so if I stitch on it I want to stitch back up here let's just look at the difference in the progress of these two pieces I'll put my needles there because you can see how there's just a lot more, a lot, it's, it's a lot more confetti stitching. There's a lot more stitching going on there. And then in a lot less time, I've got that much. Here, let me, let me straighten this stuff out here. And you see the difference in pages. Now this one is actually the large um, print format. It's easier for me to see the letters, but there's less stitching going on on one page because then on this one it is ah, that's the outside whoop, whoops that's the outside of the page and then it goes all the way down to about here so a lot bigger than the page that's there but so I mean I guess you know this this looked like this was a lot more stitching done but in reality it's really not I have gotten a lot more done on this one um, pull this thing over here there we go maybe sort of so this right here and then the top of the building and that's what's going in it almost looks like it's a tree though right now doesn't it <laughs> So, but that's what's going in right there. And then what's coming in here is all this light golder. Golder? Oh my gosh. That's clearly not the right word. The right word is goldener. That's right, more goldener. Um, man, it is getting dark out here. Uh, but anyway, so I've got to get some of that done. And I'll get back over here, but it's crazy. There's a lot, there's so much dark. I'm, I'm glad the Tower of Babel which I don't have up here. I'm glad the Tower of Babel is really light compared to to this one. So, fun, 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 fun. Let me pull out if I take this one with me. If I take this one with me, I will probably continue working on the top part. Get it done all the way across. 
I think that would be good. Ooh, can you hear the thunder? The thunder rolls, and the thunder rolls, and the lightning strikes, and the love grows cold. Um, and this is just literally just so much stitching. So, this is going to come with me for sure. Uh, it is well. I don't think I'm going to have time to do two projects. I think this will be the one that comes with me. Before I leave, I'm going to grid another row. Damn, I'm going to finish. I'm going to actually, why don't we just do that right now while we're talking about it? Since we're talking about it, let me bring this. Here, let's scoot you down a little closer. There we go. I'm going to bring this all the way down. There. There. Okay. And let's see here. Um, whoops. Actually, let me get rid of this so that I've got a more firm surface down here. Okay. Theoretically, it starts there. We're going to go back up, count ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that works. I just like how precise these little pens are. They're so precise. All right. I think I'm going to need another spot here. Probably not, but it's not going to hurt us to put it in. It's not going to have to be gridded at some point. I don't know how accurate that one was. I don't have my glasses. Do I have my glasses? I don't have my glasses with me, so I'm, I kind of need them a bit, but you guys can help me out here. Yep, that's correct. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good. It looks more clear on, um, well, it looks darker on uh, the camera than it does in real life. The green doesn't pop as well as it does here, but since there is literally, here, let me grab this. There you go. Come here, capital. Um, so I basically just work on this chunk right here. Yeah. Yep. A lot needs to be put in. Cool. Ooh, it's really picking up outside. I better keep an eye out for tornadoes, even though tornadoes are very rare this close to the mountains. The um, the weather comes up over the mountains, kind of gets dispersed, gets all gets all smooshed up, and the layers, you know, in the there's not as much air, obviously, or atmosphere above the mountains, so it gets smooshed, and then it starts to come down, and it usually can't organize itself well enough to throw a tornado at us, um, so it usually hits further east of us, but it, honest to God, right now looks like it could. We got a we we both got a tornado warning last weekend. I think it was on Sunday. It was one of the days that we were off together, and my phone went off, and it said tornado warning. And I can honestly say I've never had a tornado warning um, on my phone ever here. And uh, and look at the weather. The weather was fine. I'm not sure why I got one. And then 20 minutes later, my husband got the exact same notice. So I was like, well, and that time it was getting a little darker, but I don't know. It was just I don't know. It was weird. Tornado warnings, I think, um, are by design kind of broad. And if you um, live in most areas that get tornadoes, like, say, Kansas and Oklahoma and whatnot, the areas need to be broad because the, the, the damage can be so wide. But out here in Colorado, at least so close to the mountains, not an issue. Further out east, um, absolutely an issue. So, but... I'm going to end this now so I can go check out the weather, see what's going on, watch out for any things happening. And I will send you guys some, uh, I'll take some video and take some pictures of when I'm in St. Louis and let you guys 
see my experience and uh, I will talk to you guys real soon with the weekly update. We'll get we'll talk about a lot of stuff there and uh, but I'm gonna go upload this video and get back to work on stitching Greenwich Village here. Okay, take care guys. Be safe. Uh, happy stitching.